everyone, this is CJ Novo 992 and today we're back for another brand new video. Today's video is going to be another top 5, that's right ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are still milking that cow. So I've actually been reading a lot through the comment section lately on YouTube to see what people's want to see while well, the fan recaps and everything are obviously done during the pre-season. A lot of people want Rangers rumours, a, a lot of people want transfers, but there has been requests for these types of videos and what I'm actually going to tell this video is probably going to be something along the lines of best Rangers players that I've seen or top 5 Rangers players that I have saw play live and that is what I'm kind of wanting for this video. If every single person watching this video wants to get involved, what is the top 5 players that you've actually witnessed grace the beautiful beautiful, beautiful grass of Ibrox Stadium. Now, I'm sure we will do at one point, like, the top five greatest ever Rangers players. That could be fun. We could interact and make it a bit on Twitter so people have to vote to get down to the final five. We might do something like that as a community, as one, as one Nova Nation, as they might say. But as of just now, just the five greatest Rangers players that you have actually witnessed. Side note, by the way, we had over 600 likes last time. That's absolutely amazing. Helping a lot of people find the video because YouTube's still doing their stupid thing. You'll still see in the comments some people are still missing. So if you don't mind and if you would help me out, make sure you be smashing that like button. It definitely helps the channel, especially now. Before we actually get to the list, I want to just quickly explain something. Now, obviously, I was going through a lot of the youth. Me and my dad still talk about this to this day. He had me since 96, going when I was four years old. I just can't remember. Right, so I didn't remember Gaza, I didn't remember watching Loud Drop. I wish I could, but it's just too fresh in my mind, something that still haunts me to this day. So when my memory, like vivid memory, actual real memories are about the late 90s, like maybe 99, early 2000, 2001, that's where I started to remember every single player and then from there obviously I'm going to pick my five. So saying that, we're going to start off with our number five, it's going to be someone who I absolutely loved growing up. His name is Rod Wallace, just the guy's pace was absolutely incredible. Me and Baz have spoke about this a lot. There was times in games where he would drift in and out and then he would look over and he would notice he was just about to get subbed off. So you hear what he did? He used to get the ball, just run, beat everyone and bang one in so he got another 5-10 minutes out of the game time. He was absolutely incredible. He was always my pick to be the first goal scorer. I was absolutely in love with Rod Wallace. So quick, so direct and so skillful. Was people used to just bounce into him. You think tackles are bad now. Go back to then. People used to nail the living shit out of him, right? But he used to get up bang on and continue to run his little heart out. So number five. So as we move to number four now, we're actually going to mix up a little bit. We're actually going to go to a goalkeeping position. And this is where it tugs at my heart because I've got Kloss here. I've got Shagger here. And I, I just don't know who to go with. I was really, like, Kloss was my Gorham. Like, everyone talks about Gorham, like, how much he was a hero was. Again, I didn't quite remember, unfortunately. Kloss was my guy. He was Mr. Consistent, you know what I mean? He just made save after save after save. Quite a small stature of a goalkeeper, but he just made himself big. But, as much as I love Kloss, Shagger just came into the squad. And I remember, like, this guy, like, Alan McGregor, all right, Scottish. He's not the German, like, hero like Kloss. Why is Kloss getting benched? What's going on here? But then Alan McGregor came, and he just made save after save, wonder save after wonder save. Obviously, the penalty against Celtic definitely helps. You all notice what I'm talking about. And you know what? Before we finish up in the number four list, I want to do the song. He dives to the left. He dives to the right. Atlan McGregor shags... Thank you. Fire that down below. Number four is obviously going to be Shagger himself, Alan McGregor. I don't know if I'm going to get slaughtered for choosing Alan McGregor as the best goalkeeper that I've seen over Kloss. But I don't know, there were just a lot more memorable moments. Maybe it's because I was a wee bit older and I can just remember vividly each and every game gone with my dad and watch Alan McGregor make save after save. So yeah, I hope I'm, hopefully I didn't get slotted too badly in the comments here. But the be fourth best player I've ever saw at Glasgow Rangers, personally, it's going to be Alan McGregor. So as we move over to number three now, it's time to go to the Dutch persuasion. And it's going to be someone you should probably all have on your list if you've watched this man play. In fact, he's actually in one of my signed balls, like just right there. There he is, Ronald DeBoer. Shout out to Rickson as well, buddy. I absolutely love you. Who else we got in here? There's some other name that's going to be in my top five. Do you see it yet? 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 Remember this guy, Big Connorman. What a legend. So as I kind of poorly showed you there, my number three on the list is going to be the Dutch legend. That is going to be Ronald DeBoer. This guy just could score any type of goal. I've never seen someone as skillful on the ball. Just like, he used to just stop balls deep. And I just never quite understood it. Because I was never really great with first touch. And I used to just watch this guy. No matter where, left or right fit. He just stopped it on a six pins. And again, he scored a lot of goals for us. I know, I think he scored top goal scorer in the league for Rangers a couple of times. But he wasn't an out and out goal scorer. He was just able to create something special. That sort of calm, centre forward sort of role that Windass does right now. 
obviously one of my vivid memories him scoring against Celtic and doing like that celebration as well so yeah talented talented footballer could do anything with a football if only we could have got him a couple of years earlier and had him even longer that would have made my childhood so number three is get of the best Rangers players that I've personally seen is going to be Ronald De Boer have I changed the name of this video about three or four times as I've said it yes yes I have it's going to be best Rangers players I've seen now clickbait emotional so let's jump over to number two on the list now this is when it's going to get crunch time and if you know me at all you should know who the second two spots are okay and i was jumping back and forth because i just didn't ken who i was going to go with right i've got all the signed stuff for uh, living Kranz in my absolute cover he's just he's there got the dvds i've showed the videos i've showed the pictures up on twitter this guy signed so many stuff for me he's on my rangers tops but surprisingly i'm actually going to put him as number two that's right I'm putting the guy that signed everything basically that's still in my bedroom at number two on the list and that's going to be the Danish legend Peter Livingkrantz and he honestly was a legend to me especially I like that love and feeling video I'd watch over and over and over again that header that performance actually in the cup against Celtic I could watch each and every single day the reactions that I got being there with my dad watching him do the diving header my dad basically lifting me up and nearly throwing me air the seats was absolutely incredible something that I always remember for the rest of my days and yeah just what a fantastic player his overhead kick as well that he scored I think it was against Aberdeen yeah I'm, I'm sure it was anyway but yeah he was just direct could do anything now there were some claims like my dad still stands to this day that Livingkrant was better through the middle than he was out in the wings that's what he would always moan it. Let's put it to living grads. He'd always be like, get him inside, get him inside. He's mere direct. He keeps getting lost out in the wing. That was mad. All right, very old school, very old school. Um, he would have moments of the games where he'd go in and out. I think he's even on some Ranger forms as some of the most overrated players. But to me personally, Peter Livingkrantz is an out and out legend in my eyes, an absolute hero. So number two on my list is going to be Peter Livingkrantz. Are you really going to do a poll of top five base players that you've ever seen and not put who your fucking name is, Craig? Yes. Yes, I am. Number one on the list is going to be... Oh, Barry, Barry. Barry, 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 Barry Ferguson. The stuff that I watched this man do with football was just unbelievable. Threw in at the squad at a very, very young age. Matured over time. He was sort of a holding midfield player and then he became a box to box. And then he even played a cam role. I think he finished a top goal scorer one year as well. I can just remember him banging free kicks in for fun. Went away at Blackburn. Came back up here and had to win the fans back over because a lot of people like my dad and everything was not happy when we brought him back. But again, won our hearts and he just he's just fantastic. Can I just say that? He could day anything. By far the best midfield player uh, in Scotland that I have ever seen and I can hold my heart and say that. If I was going favourite overall, it's very, very close between him and Living Kratz. But if I'm picking the best player that I've actually seen with my two eyes, two eyes, is it two? Yeah. Um, it's Barry Ferguson all day every day doesn't matter what you think i'm new when he says some of these things and you're questioning him on the field he was a leader and i'd fucking kill to have someone half as good as him in the rangers jersey today so that is going to be my list of five best players that i've ever saw and remember to get involved down below and let me know your five i'm about to read out twelves, but before we do that though it's time for the sponsor break ladies and gentlemen so grab your refreshments here we go three two one sponsor break <laughs> At William Wallace says, Davy Cooper, oh my god, Derek Johnson, Tommy McLean, Alan McCoy, and Willie Henderson. You lucky, lucky bastard. Oh, I'm so jealous. Uh, Mark Menzies, channel legend, and also the guy who fucking destroys in the comment sections lately. So thank you, appreciate that. He says, Naismith, Yelovich, Boyd, McGregor. And Davis, good, good shout there. I would never have put Judas on my list unless it was a top five Rangers players that I now hate. And he'd be solid number one. Ian McDougall says, this is a tough one for me, though it is. Richard Goff, based on my own centre-back ways on him. Alan McCoy, he was in my idol growing up. George Alberts, I loved him. George Alberts, you jammy bastard. Brian Loudrop, who I got the pleasure of meeting and gave the Player of the Year award from RSC I used to go to the games with classmate and Gaza Nuff said I'm so annoyed I wish I could go in my mind and just unlock I know I was only a wee boy in that but I, how can I not remember watching them I was there oh still upsets me to this day me and my dad still talk about that 
Um, Scott Young says Barry Ferguson, tidy. Shaga, Nacho Novo, Yelovich, Stephen Davis. Did I just point to myself when I went Nacho Novo? What an egotistical son of a bitch. Um, Mega Mike says Loud Drop, Gaza, Super Alley, Alberts, and Hately. What a list that is, man. Eh? What a fucking list. The players that you've saw, you've saw them. Brilliant. Uh, Johnny uh, Curry says uh, Amoruso, good shout. Novo, not me. Kevin Davis, uh, <laughs> Kevin Thompson, sorry, Davis and Barry Barry, no question, love that mate, this is great, I don't know why, I can all normally always talk about negative stuff on the channel and stuff like that, but this is fun, it's, but I'm actually having real fun doing this, this is brilliant, um, so we'll go with the next one, it comes from Ross Cameron, says Barry McKay, Lee Wallace, Wes Foringham, Halliday and King Kenny. Won't be the first of names that come to mind for most people, however, it was the first team I witnessed beating Celtic. Follow, follow through the banter years, Stevie G's. Uh, Stevie G years. Okay, nice tidy. Peter Ramsey says, Davy Cooper, Alan McCoyst, Ian Ferguson, Ian Durant, Gaza and George Alberts. I think you slightly cheated there, Peter, but I can't argue. Um, let's see what is. Andy McEwen says, Forsyth, Gaza, Cooper, Derek Johnson and Sandy Jardin. Oh man, these lists. Ewan McKenzie. Says Barry Ferguson, Shagger, Novo, Davis and Papach. Tidy, tidy, all day, every day. And the last one I'm actually going to read out comes from Jay Fletcher. He says, Loudrop, Gaza, De Boer, Amoruso, Novo. Not the best, but I loved him. Tidy, mate. In fact, you know what? I've just seen Stevie Brown's script in there and I absolutely love the legend Stevie Brown. Even though he just spends 90% of his day dissing me on Twitter. You know the only one, to be fair. Um, Stevie Brown at Stevie B underscore eighteen seventy two says Gaza, Loudrop, Cooper, McCoy, and John Gregg. Yes, I'm that old. Jesus, H Christ, that's some list there, Stevie. And that's the perfect way to end it. Again, if you did enjoy these videos and you want to see more types of videos, make sure you be letting me know what you want to see on the channel. As it's the summer, we'll experiment and do some types of videos. So yeah, let's have some fun with it. Smashing the like buttons is always appreciated. And subscribing if you're new. That is very, very important as we want to get 16,000k subscribers, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. I've been Cedron over to. Thanks for watching and bye bye.